Hey Vintage Kids, did you think that nobody's gonna show up? Well, here I am, I'm Miss Catherine, I'm from Vintage Church downtown, and I cannot wait to continue to learn about the Kingdom of God with you. Over the last couple weeks, you've been learning about the Kingdom of God and what Jesus says about the Kingdom of God while he was here on earth teaching people about it. So Jesus used parables, or as you learned last week, um, parables is a fancy word for story. Um, so you use these parables or stories to tell about the kingdom of God. Um, and it's going to be our job to listen really closely. So can you hear me? Can you hear it? Um, about what he meant by these and what he was trying to teach us. So what is Jesus teaching us about his kingdom in these stories? Um, so last week you learned about a man who went and hid his treasure in a field and then sold everything so he could buy that field. And we're learning just about how important the kingdom of heaven is and how it's worth everything to heaven. We are also having a catechism question for this unit that we're going to look over before we dive into another parable um, that's in Matthew 13. Okay. So since we are redeemed by grace alone, through Christ alone, must we still do good works and obey God's word? What do you think the answer is? Must we still do good works and obey God's word since we are redeemed by grace? The answer is yes. So that our lives may show love and gratitude to God and that by our godly behaviors, others may be one to Christ. That might sound really long but what it's saying is we want our lives to point to Jesus we want others to be loved and we want others to show that we are so thankful to God and our actions help others see that and our actions point to Jesus so we want to think about whether our actions in the kingdom are more important and why our actions in the kingdom are important so let's see what Jesus is saying about the kingdom that might teach us to show love and gratitude, winning others to Christ. So guys, we're gonna be in Matthew 13. Matthew 13 is in the back of the Bible. So here's my Bible, it's in the back. So you can open your kid's storybook Bible, your kid's Bible, your parent's Bible, and dig in with them. And I'm also gonna have it right here. This is what we're going to be learning about, and you'll see why there's a fisherman and lots of fish in just a second. Okay, so Jesus says, once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it out to shore. They sat down and they sorted through it, collecting the good fish in baskets, but throwing away the bad ones. Whoop. There we go. That was close. So here we have the men pulling up all the fish, all different kinds of fish. And Jesus is using this to tell us something. So maybe grab your parents, your brother, your sister, your grandparents, whoever's around you and wants to talk about this with you. And we can learn more about the kingdom of God by listening to people who also know about it. What do you notice is happening here? So we have the men pulling up all kinds of fish, right? That's what's happening. What is God's kingdom being compared to? And what does this mean? Think about it. What was he comparing it to in this story? I think he was comparing it to the net and pulling out all these different kinds of fish. Why do you think Jesus is comparing the kingdom to a net? Have you ever gone fishing and tried to catch with a net? Or have you played soccer and had the net catch the ball? So a net catches all kinds of things and helps pull them in. And Jesus is trying to pull us into him and bring us closer to him. He's trying to catch all of us, trying to love us on us. So what does a net do? We just talked about this. So 
do you think you know what a net does? What does a net do? It catches things. And so Jesus is trying to love us and catch us and bring him closer to us. In this story, what is special about the net? Do you see something here about all different kinds of fish? Yeah. So what's special about this net is it's catching all kinds of fish, not just one type of fish. And the kingdom of God's like that. It wants, he wants to have all different kinds of people, all different, but equal and just loving and all of us. And there's room for all kinds of fish or people in God's kingdom, no matter how different we may be. He loves us all equally. So I hope that you really enjoyed learning about the parable of the fish and the net and God wanting to have all different kinds of people in his kingdom. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I can't wait to see you at Vintage Church. And I know that we're going to have a blast when we do. In the meantime, um, I really hope that you're able to talk about this Bible story with your parents and what it means for the kingdom of God. Have a wonderful rest of your week.